I had held it. Wow. That's cool. I am who I'm meant to be. I am who I'm meant to be. Over and out. Over and out. Again. My future needed clarity. Hi, hi, guys. So, I just put on, I don't know if you can tell, but I am using this newer moisturizer. I've never used it before, so it's called Belief. I do not know if you can focus, if you guys can see it, but uh, it's amazing. I love the smell. Like, that's the first thing that I, uh, well, obviously got a whiff of, but what made me... Look at this moisturizer from another moisturizer that I have or use, which I don't know if you guys seen on my TikTok, but it's the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. And this one smells more fresh. It smells like, I don't know, it's like you go to the beach and it smells like the water, but like in a good way. <laughs> if that makes any sense, I don't know if that's even making any sense. I think I'm going to put on a little bit of foundation, not too much, but a nice little bit, just so I can cover up the scruff of it all because I don't want to shave right now okay so I'm back and I decided <laughs> to clean off the beauty blender because I already was getting a cup of warm water so I can soak the beauty blender and whatnot and I had dawn soap just sitting there and I was just like well I'm here already let me do it and so I did it now that we got a pretty pink beauty blender and we got a cup of water and I have some brushes right over here that are very old and I need to get some more. They're a few years old. I think I'm going to use today Hourglass Stick Foundation. This is in the shade Sable. Ooh. I haven't opened it in a long time so I forgot how to do it. It's this way, not the switching. It looks all like scruffed up i kind of scruffed it up a bit i'm not going to put primer on because i did moisturize my face and oh i don't want to be looking i think that's good good enough also i don't know i love stick foundations they're like really simple it's just like you put it on and you go on with your day i don't want to use too much because uh, <laughs> I just don't, but I do want to do a good amount. I think that's good. What is the chin? There we go. Okay, let's try this. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. I'm actually really nervous. <laughs> oh, let me put you guys in a little bit more and actually see the face. Hopefully I don't look insane. I think there's still soap in the beauty blender. <laughs> well... It's gonna have to be in the air for a bit longer, ain't it? Or maybe that's just me being paranoid about uh, there being soap in the beauty blender, but I don't know. Oh my goodness, wow. <laughs> Wait, okay, so I told you guys already, but I don't know if I'm gonna make this video separate from like the vlogs, but Oh yeah, I just make this a makeup tutorial. Not tutorial, but just me putting on makeup and chit-chatting. Love the get ready with me. I hope this foundation is even, because if it's not, I'm gonna be looking like a crazy person, you know? <laughs> uh, when do I not? That's the, that's the real truth about it, to be completely honest with you. On the bright side, gorgeous lighting, this foundation is going on gorgeously and I think I am done pounding my face because like oh my goodness do I need to pound anymore uh there you go that's the mirror that's giving me a little bit of lighting on the side I don't know if it's even like affecting but it kind of looks like it has affected the camera so um, I think we're good foundation wise maybe I can put a teensy bit more oh there you go I opened it correctly this time on my my mustache. You know what I want to buy? Actually, not what I, well, I want to, of course. What I think I need to buy a color corrector. I see it all the time in like makeup videos and things like that on YouTube. And I'm just like, yeah, I gotta get one because uh, this is not gonna, I don't want this to happen anymore type-ish. We need to like get this under control because sometimes 
I mean, if you're doing a makeup look and you shave, right? You shave for the makeup look, it's going to come back, right? And I do have a tool that, uh, the hair is gonna come back, by the way. Um, I do have a tool that zaps the hair in a way. Uh, and I use it once a week, but I think I might start using it two times a week because I don't know if the one time a week stuff works, to be completely honest with you. I think it's good. I think it's actually working. I just need to use it every single week. Consistency. Consistency in life with everything, right? Okay, I'm done because I could just do this for hours. <laughs> and I don't know if that's a good thing because I just get a little bit uh, paranoid that uh, my makeup doesn't look, I'm putting my stuff up, uh, foundations, but I get like paranoid that it doesn't look good because sometimes it does not. And when you look up really close and you're like, oh, what is that? Like, oh my gosh. Uh, and I'm very uh, OCD when it comes to that. I like, I'm a very, uh, like I need things to be a certain way or, you know, I'm a perfectionist, which is, uh, I don't know if that's the best thing, but it's okay. It's like, whatever. And so, yeah, but it's really pretty. Like, the glow, like, it's really, there's a really pretty glow to it. And I still think there's soap. <laughs> and it's Beauty Blender. Or, it's just like orbs in the Beauty Blender. I have no idea what's happening. Okay, so, I have a question. Like, what do you, I don't know if any of you guys, like, are into social, well, like, really, like, do the social media or want the social media thing to be, like, your career or whatnot. But like, so you have your TikTok and you have your Instagram and you have your YouTube, right? If you're a YouTube of, YouTuber, of course. And it's like, cause I'm like, should I do certain things for certain uh, social media platforms? It's like, I'm doing a makeup tutorial right now on YouTube. So on TikTok, should I just do, should I stick to the fashion on TikTok? And then when I get more popular, should I just combine it all together, right? and do both on both platforms or what? Because I think about that a lot in my brain and I'm just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Uh, what's happening? Type-ish. And so that's, that can be a very, a very interesting thing in itself. This is the little Elf Hydrating Camel Concealer Set and Finish, which I actually really like Set and Finishes. I think they're really pretty. And this is the shade Tan and Neutral. I don't know if I have under eyes, dark circles or whatever, but to me it's like whatever. Like I personally, I don't know if any of you guys do this, but for me, sometimes when I don't vibe with something on my face or whatever, <laughs> I go up to the mirror and I look at it like really closely. And I'm just like, it's kind of pretty. Like I kind of trick my brain into and I don't even think it's tricking. I think it's just more of, it can be a really pretty thing. It, I mean, it really just depends on you and who you are and stuff like that. I think that's okay. You know, I'm not, I'm not like, oh my goodness, I'm so ugly and things like that because at least when it comes to that, in a way I do believe that when you, when you tell yourself that over and over and over again, you're gonna start, you know, thinking that when you're not ugly, but you've said it so many times, it's implanted in your brain that you're ugly. And by you, not by anybody else, in a way, right? And I've told myself I was ugly. Like, I've, <laughs> I have I went to the mirror one time, and uh, I told myself, like, you're ugly. And it actually, like, hurt my, like, it hurt, like, just saying it out loud. I never personally just cared about my, my appearance that much. I just, I'm, more now I do because I'm social media thing and wanting to get into the content creator fashion uh, fashion designer route. When, I don't want to say that again because that does not feel good when you talk to yourself, you know, down like that. Like, that hurts. And, uh, you know, nobody deserves that. And especially not you, you know? Especially not you. I don't know if this concealer did literally anything. <laughs> Okay, it's on my face. This is the water. The water from the water. I don't want to drop this. Oh my goodness. Scared it. Okay. I am back. We're back, back, back. Back, back, back. Blush. So, this is the only blush. Well, not the only. This is the only liquid blush I believe I have. This is Rare Beauty. This is in the shade. I don't know if this even is working because... <laughs> can't really see it. I'm, my legally blind self is like, what is happening? 
uh, the other than the shade happy happy blush it's really pretty yeah there you go but yeah it's really amazing blush and doop, boop boop I could do a dot on my nose but then again I think I'm just gonna use the product from my uh, cheeks and put them on my nose and uh, am I gonna use the beauty blender I can but I think I'm gonna use a brush we can use this brush why not Oh my goodness, and you know something? Since my skin is, I have yellow toned, yellow tone? A yellow undertone melanin skin. I feel like an orange blush would look pretty. Like if it was an orange pink blush, not, this is more of a, I think this is more of a cool pink blush. Like it has a more cooler undertone. And so, Sometimes when I take photos, it kind of looks orange. It's pretty and You can always mix it with some type of orange something and see I'm using the rest of the blush that I have on this brush if any and putting it on my little nose <laughs> Bridge and then I guess I'll push them down here because why not? not? What are you guys' favorite blush? I don't know if I have well I, I, let me show you guys. I personally do like this palette right here. Uh, this is from Makeup Revolution. It's, it's vin their Vintage Lace, Lace Blush Palette. But I really love these shades because they're really pretty. But they also have some sparkle to it. And you know me. It's all about the sparkle. Should I put this on my face though? I don't know. Mm. Okay, so story about the fit me powder if you guys look at one of my one of my earliest videos uh i think it's the first video i did where i put on makeup on camera i look like an oily mess but i'm not deleting it because it is the journey uh of it all but i look like an oily mess and so with that i tried this fit me powder and i did not like it and i think that was the only time I used it and then watching more YouTube videos understanding things I was like okay maybe I like this powder this is the powder I use the Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder and this is the first time I'm gonna try the fit me powder again I'm scared okay okay I'm gonna use my beauty blender and I'm gonna try this right okay interesting I try not to wear makeup too much, like, or at least like a full face, right? I don't really even wear foundation, I just put on blush because, first of all, I've not figured out how to make, uh, put foundation on your face where it just doesn't transfer, like, at all. And I don't even know if that's a possible thing because it is, well, foundation. And it's going to get places, but it's pretty. It's really pretty and people do say it's like the best like literally people say it's the best like powder this is butter bronzer by Phys physician's formula so pretty uh this is the shade endless summer i could try it let me see uh just do a little bit of the cheek not too much. I actually, I like, I like my face shape and I don't want to like, just, you know, I don't contour my nose because I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of my nose. And so that's why I don't contour it. It's just like, I don't want to start liking the nose that I contour, but that's personally just me. I hope I'm making sense. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you guys watch, uh, Tati on YouTube, but one of her tricks for like sparkle, anything that has a sparkle to it or whatnot right now, is she um, sets it, like she does the setting spray and then she puts the sparkle on. And I think that's, I wanna try it, actually. <coughs> I had held it. That's cool. Okay, we're back. 
<laughs> my battery died. I had to change the camera. Okay, so we're gonna spray again. One more time. One more time, one more time. I didn't want to open my mouth first. I just, I, I wanted to use my other scents because I didn't want to do the inhaling again, which I think that maybe actually worked. My shirt is a little bit drenched now, but I think we're good. And I know I used a lot, but uh, hopefully it actually works. By the way, this is Urban Decay All Nighter. It's a really big bottle. I think I paid like $40 for it or something, which I don't know. I. Those small ones, I feel like I would use up so fast. And I just like, I'd rather spend more money for the big ones. Uh, and I don't, because I don't, I don't think I'd use them up as fast as I would use up the small ones. Here, we're gonna put the camera up so you guys can see. This is, by the way, the Nudie Patootie. Oh, Nudie Patootie, Laura Lee Los Angeles palette. Okay, there we go, see? The color is late, oh, the color is Jaybird, but the shade is copper. And there we go. Nudie patootie. Nudie patootie. Waterproof mascara, and then I'll do the lips. This is, what is this, Better Than Sex? Yeah, it's Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. It's the blue tube. I actually wore this the first day I went to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Sometimes I get, I don't know if any of you guys get scared putting on mascara because you're like, oh my gosh, I did a really pretty makeup look and I'd rather not get mascara on the look. It took me a long time to do this. I mean, not me personally, but it still stands. I'm like, oh my gosh, please no. So I did this lip combo, I think. I did this, which is the, it's a Bare Minerals lip claw, I mean lip uh, stick in shade Grace. This pretty tube right here. Love to see it, really nice. Mm-hmm. Not too much. Just a nice bit of color on the lips. And then, this is uh, Lunar Beauty. Love this. This is in the shade Starlight. It's pink. This is Manny MUA's brand. It's very skin tone like, which never actually, it's because of the foundation, obviously. But um, that is the lip combo. It'd probably look different if it was on my natural lips, like color. Uh, but I like it. It's really pretty, personally. I kind of actually like the skin tone look. Person, I think it's really cool. Last but not least, put on some sacred glass. This is Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I'm gonna put on some sacred glass on the brow bone. And there we go, guys. I don't know how long this uh, putting on makeup has been. Obviously, I'm gonna edit the video because you guys don't want to hear me not talk or, or my silence because I'm just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but uh, this was nice. This was nice and this is the final look right here. And there we go. I hope this first get ready with me wasn't too bland, you know? Uh, and I just hope that you guys enjoyed it. I thank you for watching. What are your favorite products down below, blushes and whatnot? Because I would love to get some more products. Just thank you for being here with me, and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.